You've been living under a rock if you don't recognize that iconic tune. What's up guys and girls, I'm M. Kwan. Peace and blessings to you all out there. Welcome to another vlog. A couple of vlogs back, if you remember, I unboxed my first PlayStation in a number of years and I was feeling very nostalgic. So when I got asked to play Star Wars Battlefront, I couldn't refuse. Now I actually remember the original Battlefront games and I got really excited about them. They kind of killed them off and now they've brought them back to life, kind of. Right from the beginning, let me make it clear, I'm no hardcore gamer. I am an average gamer as somebody described me, which basically means I play a couple of times a week for recreational purposes um, and I enjoy just playing games. So in this video, what I want to do is I want to share with you my honest experiences and opinions playing Star Wars Battlefront. You won't expect any jargon-filled, detailed gaming review, but what you can expect is a gaming review from an average gamer's experiences. Let's get on with it. Right, first, let me get started by talking about the graphics because this is always, for me personally, one of the things that makes or breaks a game. And let me just tell you, Star, Star Wars Battlefront on the gaming aspect is absolutely insane. It's really, really impressive. The attention to detail, all those little touches that I actually expected were here. And I'm, I'm really happy about that. That feeling of being part of the Star Wars universe, you know, that whole battling for or against evil, all that Star Wars stuff was definitely, um, the vibes were definitely there. And that was down in a big part due to the graphics. Now I've got to mention also the sound editing because OMG, that deserves a special mention. It was really very, very good. Everything from that, you know, engine sound of a fighter to the boom sound of one of the blaster firing, um, or, or, or the battle uh, happening overhead in Endor, um, even the noise of an armored, uh, all-terrain armored transport system, the at, -AT that was crawling along, Battlefront gets it perfect. Really, really impressed. Now, second, I want to talk about the gameplay. Now, Battlefront reminds me of an arcade type game, basically a first person shooter uh, where you die and you spawn pretty quickly and then get back into the game. Now, for me personally, I like this aspect of Battlefront. It appealed to me because as a casual gamer, uh, playing for entertainment, it, you know, it, it's fast paced and I enjoyed that. But if you're going to be expecting a deeper gameplay or uh, a story tied in gaming experience, then you might be a little disappointed. But this is not something that's really here in Battlefront. Now, it's got basically an expansive, very expansive online version. Um, I dabbled in that briefly. You've got a local multiplayer uh, mode, which again, I've had very brief experiences with. Majority of my play was in the single player mode. Now, the single player mode, uh, you play either as a, a stormtrooper or a rebel soldier, and your goal or objective is basically to shoot at the enemy and essentially try not to die. Um, there are various objectives along the way um, and my favorite was the survival mode because that's where you battle different waves of enemies and you've got a different range of objectives that you've got to fulfill. You know, if you want to partake in the objectives, that's fine. If you just want to just enjoy the whole uh, first person shooter, arcade-ish kind of vibe, then you can do that as well. Um, and there are also survival battle and hero battle modes in single play, which are all very enjoyable. Now, there are four worlds uh, in single play. It's a teeny bit limited, um, but all of them are really done very well. And, and to be honest, Endor was my favorite. I really enjoyed that. It was very, very reminiscent of the movie itself. Now, something I felt after playing Battlefront for a while um, I kind of wish there was an option of a story mode. Now, don't get me wrong, like I mentioned at the beginning, uh, I really enjoyed the freedom, if you like, of survival mode. But sometimes it would have been nice just to switch it up, just to change it a little, um, especially when you grow tired of that whole kill, rinse, repeat format. Um, so th th that's one of the things that, you know, I kind of would have liked and it would have reminded me 
of the older Battlefront experiences originally that came out in 2004. Now, I tried the Battle of Jakku and that was really interesting because it comes with a brand new battle mode called Turning Point. Um, basically, the rebels have to fight against the Empire and they take away checkpoints to, to basically earn more time on the clock. And in the end, it ends up at the Empire's home base as the final objective. It was pretty cool. Again, it overall adds something different to the kind of normal gameplay options that you get. Oh, so to end, here's what I think. Look, Battlefront is, it's going to be an awesome, fast-paced, shooter-style arcade game if you're into that. It's really great for us casual gamers, and um, you know, it's, it's something that you're not really gonna grow tired of. However, if you're looking for a deeper gameplay, uh, a more story-based gameplay, then you're not gonna find it in this. And if you're a fan of Star Wars, then I think you're going to really appreciate the graphics, the sound, the attention to detail in the gameplay. And that left me with that whole nostalgic feeling that I mentioned at the beginning. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a first for me. Do let me know what you think. If you are a fan of Battlefront, then you know chime in in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel uh, the game was for you. And until next time, I'll see you in another video on this channel. I'm M. Kwan. Peace and blessings.